Hello, welcome. I am Luis, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the logic behind my solution for the Knights problem from the introduction to artificial intelligence with Python. So, first of all, the assignment was to write a program to solve Knights and Knaves logic puzzles. So, in this in these puzzles, we have two kind of characters. The first one is a knight and he, he will always tell the truth and the second one is the knave they always lie so the objective of the puzzle is giving a set of sentences by each of the characters that are mine for each character whether the character is a knight or a knave so as you can see we don't know the the roles for each character and we need to determine for each one depending on the sentences spoken and to use that we implement propositional logic with the following operators or and negation and implication so let's go through the puzzles the first puzzle presents one one character we who says i'm both a knight and a knave however by definition of the game we know that each character is either a knight or a knave but not both so to include that rule we use an exclusive or as you can see the logic is written with or and and negations and so then we just write we translate that sentence into a propositional logic sentence sentence so we have that if a is a knight that means a is a knight and a knave as well because it's telling true However, if we run this, the, the algorithm will tell us that A is in, in fact a knave because we are including the main rule of the game. The second puzzle, well, the second, the puzzle number one is including two characters. So we have character A and character B. The first character says, we are both knaves since the second character says nothing we again include the main rule of the game with the exclusive or for each of the characters then we translate the sentence of the first character which is we are both knaves so if a is a knight it is telling the truth and then both a and b are knaves so we use the implication and in the case of a being a knave it is lying and so they are not both knaves that means by definition b is a knight so we use the implication again and if we run it with the program uh, we will have that a is a knave and b is a knight the puzzle number two uh, is also including two characters so the first one says we are the same kind but the B character says we are of different kinds. So we we must know just by inference that one of them are is lying and the other is telling the truth. So we again use the exclusive or for each for the rule for each character and and then we translate that sentences to propositional logic. So we have either A is a knight or a knave, B will will be a knight because if if a is is telling the truth that means that a is a is a knight and that both are knights as well but if if it's lying if a is lying if the spheres character is lying uh, they are not the same kind so b will be a knight so in any case with that sentence, we know that B would be a knight. And if we translate the second sentence, either B is a knight or a knave, A will be a knave because if B is lying, they are not different kinds, so both would be knaves. And if it's telling the truth, that means that they are different kinds, so A is a knife. So if we run the program, the algorithm will tell us that a is a knave and b is a knight as well 
then go through the last puzzle which includes three characters so we have a little bit more complex here but we still use the the same logic with the exclusive or for the main to to, in, to implement the the main rule for each character a b c b, b and c and we have the the following sentences so a, a says either i'm a knight or i'm a knave but you don't know which so we don't really know which is the is the sentences that a say and then the second character says that a said i'm a knave but also says that c is a knave and the third char the third character says a is a knight so let's translate that translate that into a propositional logic sentence so either a is a knight a knight or a knave a will say i'm a knight b so b is lying so we here we do an implication with an or operator in the first part of the implication so let's look at the at the first sentence again either a will be a knight or a knave he will say always i'm a knight because if he's an a, a knight and is telling the truth he will always say i'm a knight but if he or she or it is a knave it will say the a lie so it will say i'm a knight so either a is a knight or a knave a will say i'm a knight so in that in that way in that logic b is lying with the first sentence then if b is a knave we have that b lied with c is a knave then c is a knight again we use an implication and the last sentence is that c says that the first character is a knight so if c is a knight is telling the truth and so a is a knight as well and finally if we run the program we will have that a is a knight b is a knave and c is a knight as well and that's how we can translate some of the sentences from the knights and knaves puzzles to a propositional logic statement thank you very much that's all